a snatchy takeaway. It's one of the biggest faults that we see with players on the range. They'll tend to move the club head too quickly around their body. Their arms fold up, they bunch. The sequence of the body and the arms in the club is not quite what it should be. If you struggle with this, well, stay tuned. This video is really gonna help. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here on the range at Junalup Resort and in today's video we're talking all about removing that quick snatchy takeaway that you see with far too many golfers out there. It causes a bunch of follow on errors in the golf swing and it's certainly a part that we would like to eliminate if this is something that you struggle with. Before we get stuck in, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you get notified of all the videos coming your way. We're gonna be ramping this up to at least two videos a week going forward to ensure that you're getting the most out of your golf games and your time when you go down to the range to practice. Also, just in case you're wondering, I am available for online coaching. So if that's something that you're looking to improve, you can work with me in a remote fashion. You can send me your swings through an app called Skillis. I'll post a link below. And what you'll get from me is personally prescribed drills and exercises pertaining to the big issues in your golf swing. And we can really help you level up that golf game in the year ahead. Okay, once again, on to today's lesson, talking about removing that snatchy takeaway. We really just, as a reference, are gonna be looking at the club head for the first section of the takeaway here. And what we tend to see with those players who do have this fault, they move the club head very quickly away. And it's usually just a misunderstanding of what really drives the movement of the club in the first part of the takeaway. And then from there, as a result of them getting too quick, just causes too many follow-on errors. So using the club head as a reference once again, if I swing back and we get to this club shaft parallel position, generally players who have a very snatchy takeaway will tend to get the club head moving too far in and around their body. We'll also generally see that the club face will roll open. So rolling open, meaning the face turns too much up towards the sky. The right arm will generally tend to pull behind their body. And then from the face on angle, as they take the golf club back, we'll find that it gets very narrow relative to the distance from their body and the club shaft there. So what we do see as they then continue their backswing from this position is their arms will continue to lift. They'll tend to stand up. And then as the downswing then kicks in, the shaft will get steep, causing a whole bunch of issues with the body. From the face on view, as they do this, the shaft gets narrow. They then continue their swings. They'll tend to stand up. And as you can see, we're well out of position. So if this sounds like you, I've got an excellent drill that you can use to ensure that we're trying to sync up what the body, the arms and the club should be doing. Well, let's first of all, let's have a look at what the professional would do by that stage of the swing. If the recreational golfer who struggles with the snatchiness gets the club head behind, you can see the hands are out, the right arm is bent. Well, what we would see with the professional would be much more of a one piece movement. The chest would be rotating back, the arms would stay long and relaxed, the club, the hands, the chest, all relatively in line. And you can see relative to my target down there in the distance, everything is organized in such a fashion that as I then continue turning to the top, we get that nice structure that you see on TV with your favorite golfer. As opposed to the recreational golfer, pulling that club around, arms bending, all sorts of weird and wonderful shapes at the top of the swing. So how do we get into this position? Well, once again, just having the concept and the idea that this is where we firstly need to be, the club, the hands, the chest, all in one line, as opposed to over here. You'll see that the arm structure stays pretty constant from the address position in the face on view as they're using the chest back. You can see we've actually got a lot more width instead of getting narrow with that club shaft getting very close to the body. As we use our body to take the golf club back, we can see we've got this nice long wide arc throughout the motion, something displayed by the best ball strikers. So the drill that we're gonna get you doing, it's as simple as this. We need that golf club relative to the ground to be tracking closer to the ground for a longer period of time. For the golfers that get snatchy, this golf club picks up quickly off the ground. So the golf club rises very quickly. We want it to stay low and longer for a period of time. So this is a wonderful exercise that you can do. You're just gonna place another golf ball behind the golf ball that you're gonna hit. And you're just gonna make some practice swings, feeling from this address position, nice relaxed arms, that you're going to drag that ball along the ground for as long as you can. And as I do so, you can see I get myself into this position. Once again, the club head the hands, the chest, all relatively in line. 
if I was the snatchy golfer, I put my club behind the ball. As soon as I pull that back, you can see all well, the club's gone in. I haven't dragged it for a long period of time. The club head hasn't gone wide enough away from me long enough to really put us in that good position. So we'll show you that from the face on view here. We're just putting it a slight distance behind the golf ball, enough for our club to sit nicely in the gap there. I'm then setting up and what we're feeling is that chest is driving the golf club away. We can see how nice and wide this arc is that I've drawn as opposed to that snatchy golfer. They get this golf club moving back so quickly that the ball will shoot off. Once again, you can see too narrow in that position. So my recommendation is to simply just start off by doing a few slow practice swings, putting this into effect. You're gonna set up, you're gonna drag that golf club back. You can see a nice slow rolling of the golf ball. You then keep putting it into that position. Sure, it might feel a little bit monotonous, keep doing it over and over again. But once again, just gives you a great feeling, then follow through of how to get your body into position. My recommendation is to start off with those half swings, just establish a feel, a concept, an understanding of what you need to do to get that ball rolling slowly back for as long as you can. You wanna feel that that ball is in contact with the back of the club for the longest period of time. If it's shooting off, it simply means that that club head is working too far around the body. Once you've built up some confidence with that, put the ball directly behind one you're gonna hit. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna recreate that same feeling. You're gonna go slowly back. Let's see how we go. So you can see it was a slow rolling of that golf ball back. The club then came down, struck the ball first, the ground second. Place it on a short tee just as I have done there, mainly just so because you've got some consistency with that delivery. I'm gonna do one more off the ground here, slowly. Once again, you can see nice wide arc on the way back, ball sending out towards the target, only little half swings there. And then when you go and hit the real shot, we're just gonna implement that same feeling into our normal golf swing, get the rehearsal, feeling it's wide, feeling our arm structure is staying long. Recreating the same feeling, that ball came off exactly how I anticipated. So when you're working on your backswing, we need a wider, longer arc, we need a bigger distance in which that club head is traveling rather than it moving short and quick, fast around the body with the arms bending. If this is something that you struggle with, you watch your buddies, you see they too are doing this exact same movement. We'll give them this drill, place a ball a couple of inches behind, roll it slowly back, get the feeling of width and structure as we get into this position, and it can make a massive difference to improving your ball striking. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions, please ask me below. But until next time, I'm Kara Gray. Thanks for watching.